guys, over the uh, last couple of weeks, I've had staff um, talk to me about the fact that uh, students in their uh, lower school classes uh, are taking over their, uh, their presentations when they're doing their video chats. And is there a way of stopping that from happening? So I've gone away and I've done a bit of research and this video is just how to make yourself the only presenter in Microsoft Teams. Now I'm not a Microsoft Teams expert by, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but this seems to work for me, so um, feel free to give it a go. So when you go into your, um, into your team, and here's just a practice one that I've got set up, um, you would normally click down here on your um, little Meet Now icon, and that brings up your, uh, your, uh, your video. Let me just turn that off so you don't see me in my pajamas. And um, if you just go ahead and click Meet Now, it puts everybody in uh, that's in your channel, but they all have the ability to be presenters. What you want to do instead is click down here on Schedule a Meeting. Now, when you click on Schedule a Meeting, it brings up this little window here, which allows you to add in the time that you want to do it. Um, it allows you to add required attendees. Uh, you can give some details where the meeting is going to take place, etc., etc. I'm just going to call this one test. Um, now this little box here where it says Simon and Amy in general, that's important because what that's doing is it's saying it's going to send out an invite to every single person that is in, uh, in, in this um, channel, which will be every student in your class. And so what you do is you send. And that gets sent off to all of those uh, students and they will get a reminder saying at 11.30 they need to go into the meeting. Now what you can do as a staff member is click on these three ellipses and go view meeting details. Now this gives you a whole new load of extra options. And the one that we're interested in at this stage is meeting options. Now if I click on that and assuming that I'm logged in um, through my um, through uh, Microsoft Teams correctly and through uh, the Office portal, um, I get to this page here. And the bit that's important for us is this little section here that says who can present and you want to change the option so it says only me and you save it. And if, as long as it says done, that is it, you are finished. You can then close that one down and you can go back to your team and you may join it now if you want to and you go through your team as you would do normally but the key thing is you are the only person that is able to present and the students cannot. So hopefully that was, uh, that was useful to you and um, if you find a better way of doing it please let me know.